see, I try to do something that is very uh, general. And whenever you have a doubt, whenever you have a question, please jump in. So it's, it's not going to be very long. So I, I, I didn't look at the agenda. I don't know if you have a lot of time or not, but we can modulate that to what is going to be best for you. And the idea here was to give an overview then of this, what we have been calling the Elixir Goblet Train the Trainer. It's something that has already happened many years ago, and it became a program. It started with courses and became a program because we extended that with the idea we want to have better trainers or at least people that like training and like teaching and teaching well. So that's why we created this program some years ago. So this program is the idea was to increase the training capacity, you see, and training in the sense of trainers, people that can be skilled to teach any kind of things, you know, but teach well. And it's, it's also increase this competency of training in Elixir in Europe. So it was it started as a goblet, I'll tell you afterwards, and then it became an Elixir goblet joint venture as well, and it has been extended. So it is composed as a program because it is composed of courses. You see, we do, we deliver short courses. There are two days. I'm going to talk more about this. And the short courses are very, they have, they need to be very practical also. They are about to providing tools and tips for trainers in best practices in course design and how to create training materials. It should be also something like enriching learning experiences as well, how we can do this in a more interesting way for, tra for trainees, for learners, for those who are going to come to our courses. It is agnostic to the topic. That's why we, we can teach these train to trainer courses to anyone in any field. We have already people who come, came from uh, law or physics attending our course as well. They are not only for bioinformatics, it's really for anyone. And the characteristic of those courses that they have then four modules. You see, it's half four, half days that we can organize in the best way possible for everyone. So I'll go little by little in how explaining what it is. Besides from the courses, we also we started developing and extending that program so that we started to have many more and more people teaching those courses and interested also in joining us to discuss tips, tricks, best practices. Then we created at some point, I think it was three years ago, we created a community of train the train instructors. So it's a network of people in the same way that you have now in NX UK, you have this this club of trainers as well is is exactly the, the same that we discuss. We get together once a month. We discuss about any topics. It's a network of a moment that we find to discuss about the content of the trainer trainer courses, but also to discuss any questions, issues that we have about teaching. It's like a support in as, as well. It's a way of exchanging experiences about the teaching of the trainer the trainer, but teaching any in of any kind as well. So you have here, we have we meet every third month, Friday of the month at 10 o'clock. Anyone is really welcome to attend those meetings as well. And it's open not only for the trainer the trainer instructors, but for anyone who is interested in training. So this program in numbers, so it started many, many years ago. And since then, we have already trained over 500 people across Europe. And not only because we have also gave, given those courses for people outside. We have done this maybe during ISCB conferences or also in Brazil when we have also some uh, collaborations with them. So it's a... Uh, really many people from many different places. We have done already so far, I think we have counted the 41 train the trainer workshops so far. And today in our network of people who can feel comfortable in teaching those train the trainer courses, we have at least 20 people. Chris <laughs> is one of them. Khaled is one of the people who is also in the community. And we have many other people as well. I think we have Kaz as well from the uh, uh, Elixir UK and many others also from Elixir UK and not only. So this 
and is an overview of what is this train the training program now. So to set the scene, so to have an understanding of how, where we are coming from, we started this program many, many years ago, even before Elixir started. Elixir started officially, I think it was in 2014, if I remember well. And this uh, program had started already before during the Goblet, go, in, inside Goblet. So Goblet, for those that don't know, is an association, an international association of trainers. Stands for Global Organization for Bioinformatics Learning, Education, and Training. And is it like Elixir or like Elixir UK as well, the, what you have, but extended to anyone uh, also to the rest of the world. It started there, the program of the train, the training started in Goblet. And then we had many people from Euro Europe who were in that program that created Elixir as well. So naturally it became as well a program that was jointly organized and jointly done by Elixir and Goblet. And then what the, the chance that we had as well, because it was also part of Elixir, we had some funds to push that forward, to extend that as well. And it happened through several projects. I don't know if any of you were there already when we had Elixir Accelerate, which was one of the first projects that Elixir had was involved with, of involved in was starting in 2015. And then since then, so we end, ended in 2019, that funding project, we extended a lot the Elixir Trainer Trainer Program. And since then we have that inside the training platform work program, the Elixir Training Platform Work Program, where now we have Chris and Lizanne and other people involved in that as well to continue boosting the Trainer Trainer Program. We have also uh, other projects where we have inserted more and more the Elixir Goblet Train the Training Program. That is one of them is then Elixir Series is a project that is going on. Maldi Banks is another program that I project that I was involved that is going to start next year. So little by little, it, this became something that is, it was Goblet, extended to Elixir and Goblet, extending everywhere as possible. Anyone that wants to organize or train the trainer courses, the material is there. They can learn how to do that and continue doing providing trained and trainer courses. So that's why it's very open as well. So now a little bit of the content of those trained and trainer courses. It's, as I said before, is a four and a half days in that. In the very first day, it's a, so very first half day, sorry for that. It's only, only everything about around learning. It's reminding ourselves what do we mean by learning? You know? what, how, what, how we learn, what is, uh, what, how the learning happens for us as human beings, for us as a learner, us as a person, us as trainers as well, is reflecting about what is learning, how that happens, how learning works. And then we see that we, we base our what we are teaching there. We are not pedagogy scientists. No one that is there has ever done a, 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 a course in pedagogy. But many of us who are there, when, since the beginning, we started reading and looking about some models. And we base what we are teaching there in the Train the Trainer mostly on these books that you have that you see here in the in the uh, the slides i can i can share the slides with you afterwards no no problem at all with that so one of them is about the how learning works the other one is about the small teaching now there is a small teaching online and the third one is about understanding how we learn they are very applied models you see and that's what we want as well you see, it's not only about teaching or talking about pedagogies, how we can actually go from there, what is written in the book, and apply that in a course. You know? That is really make, that can make our courses effective. So that's the idea, very, be very practical on that. And we started all those because those principles here on how learning works and understanding how we learn also, they're very practical as well at the end. So that's some of the models that we have chosen there are plenty, plenty of pedagog pedagogical models. We have chosen those because 
we could understand them better because they, we could apply them in a simple way, let's say like this. So we decided to go towards those models there, you see, and that's why we talk about. One of the other models that we talk about that I think that many people have heard and you probably as well, is the Bloom's taxonomy of cognitive levels as well. It's some, also another model that we use there, that we talk about, and that we try to apply in, in when we design courses, for example, or when we design uh, the sessions of our courses and see how we can make things effective for the learners that we are going to have in front of us. Another model as well that we, we talk about is, about, is on the short and long-term memory. A lot of about learning is learning is something that is we cannot talk about learning if that learning doesn't stay for a longer period. You see, if we watch a movie and there is nothing that we can do about it afterwards, it's difficult that we can talk about it as learning. You know? And that's why also we talk about so it's something that should remain. The learning process is something that is we change a state from A to B and that state has to remain for a while. You see, that's why we talk about memory as well. And also something something that we are going to see afterwards is active learning is also very important for us. So it's act by activate, active learning means as well that you have to repeat things that you put in, them into practice. So everything that's why we try to do things that are very practical as well. So that, that ha learning can happen in a, in a good way. So this is the one of the models that we talk, and then the other model that we talk is about the Dreyfus models of skill acquisition. Big words and big names of models, that means simply that you start from A and then you add a little bit on the top of that and go to B, and then you add a little bit on, on that and C and so on, you see. You gradually go from one point to another one. And then people can go from being beginners, so novices, into more experienced at some point in time to, to understand so everything that is about learning in a half day. And then, so that was the very first session. Second session is how we go into applying those models into actually designing a course. So we start with the design of a session. A session can be something that is very small, can be a 10 minute session, can be a 30 minute session. And then we start from, we define what we want to have as an outcome of that, of that session, reflecting on that as well. And so if you want to design something that is very practical, what the learners would be able to do after the end of our session. So we, that's what a learning outcome is, you see. So we define that as a first thing starting point for us. If we want know what we want them to achieve at the end of the, the learners can achieve at the end of the session, then we can decide what kind of activity is going to be bad, best for to teach that, to achieve that learning outcome. What then is the, going to be the content that we are going to draw to design to fulfill that activity in the outcomes, how we can assess then the learning is happening and so on. So it's a cycle that we use and we talk about this and we put, ask people to put that into practice during a half day. So where they are going to, the people that are going to attend with the course with us, they, they are going to reflect on all these steps here from the beginning to the end for a very mini session of three minutes, you see. So they start with thinking, how can I teach someone to draw a bicycle, for example, you see, and then they go from that until the actual teaching of that, this, the design of the session from the beginning until the end. So this is the session two of the training trainer. And then the session three is about participation and engagement, how to make our sessions um, interesting, motivating, and that make the, the trainers are there with us. It's not only talking and talking and talking, and that's why where the active comes into practice as well, is how to make them, uh, the learners, do the learning instead of us talking during a lot of time, you see. And how to, we understand as well, where in the session, 
what motivates people to attend our courses, what demotivates them, how we as trainers can motivate them and can uh, sometimes when we are not very careful how we can demotivate them as well without no, really knowing what we are doing. So making the training more effective, you see, and, and the tra trainers more interested in that as well. And then finally, the session four is about assessing and receiving feedback. Assessing when the learning is happening. This happens all the time with us. You see, is that because we are, we are very uh, uh, into active learning, we ask the, the learners how to more on day practice and we talk uh, uh, as few as possible. So if they are progressing on their own pace as well, how can we know, make sure that this is the, the learning is really happening on that, you know? And by receiving, assessing, then if the learning is happening as well, how we receive this feedback and how we give feedback to the people as well. How to tell them if the learning is happening as, as well and how to, they, when we are assessed as trainers as well, how this happens for us as well. So this is, is a general idea, these four sessions of the train the trainer. So these are the courses that we have. And the idea of that, the Eric Goblet Train the Train Instructors community as well, is to motivate other people to teach with us, to take those materials, learn from them, and be uh, feel confident to teach them. You know? So we started also writing, besides of the training materials that we have for those sessions, for those, those four sessions, we also have some professional guides where we explain more in details as well, give the bibliography that we have read and explain in our words what we have read in there and how we can, so for one of them is that how we do do this, the cycle of the, the instruction, instruction design, for example. So what do you have to think about all this so that people can learn and read by themselves little by little. We also have some guides where we, it was more about the mastery rubrics on how to design bioinformatics courses as well and how to use that rubric for bioinformatics courses. They were spin-offs, let's say like this, of the Elix Gobbett Train the Trainer program. So courses, professional guides, and there are some work in progress that we have done and things that we have been moving on for that Elixir Gobra Train the Trainer program. So Chris, Lizana, Lallegra, and other people from the Elixir Training Platform, they have been working together with us as well to create more courses, but also the, what we want to do in the next years is to create more materials as well for the train the trainer courses so that we people can come and teach these four sessions. They can know more exactly what they how they can teach the four sessions of the train the trainer courses and what they need to read more as well and where more the, the timetable and the, the pace that they have to have, what kind of what they can teach tell when they are teaching the train the core train the courses how they run the activities and so on, very practical way also of teaching the trainer trainer courses. Now we are working as well on the, our website. We are very bad on that as well so far. We have training materials there in that were are in a GitHub repo. We didn't update them for a while. We moved into teaching those with slides only and now we want to move back to also having a, a more comprehensive GitHub repo where we can find the materials to the train the train courses, the GitHub repo, the, 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 the links to the guides as well, and everything in one single place. So we have been working on that. And also related to that as well is that more or less the same people that we had for the train the train program were also interested in very fine training materials. I don't know if you ever heard about this before. I guess you had. In the same way that we verify data nowadays, we make the data fair, findable, accessible, interoperable, and reusable. We do. We want to do the same for training, for training materials. So we want to verify training materials. So that's we have a, 
a handbook that we have created with many people from medics here. I didn't put that link into the slides here, but we can easily share that with you. And in that handbook of very fine training materials, we have explained what are those steps. And now what we want to do is also to verify your, our own train, the training materials that we didn't verify so far. So that's the plan that we have for the near future. And that would be this available in the website together with information from of trainers as well, who are the people who are teaching with us and how can they, they can be recognized as trainers as well, instructors. It's very important for everyone as well. It's part also of our best practicing training. You are, have, you are all teaching, you know what it is that training is sometimes comes with a lot of efforts, but no one recognizes the effort because you, we don't see that effort anywhere. We don't show that to anyone. So it's also something that we want to do is to recognize the people who are teaching and involved in the train the trainer. And also a place where we're going to find any courses that we have, because sometimes we open a course that is organized by UK, for example, but others from other Elixir nodes are not aware of those. And people from med or any node could go and attend a course from anywhere. So this is idea, the idea as well, that we, are, that we can more easily find information about the training training courses from any node, not only from uh, individual nodes. And also something that we want to work on also that we is in progress as well is about the indicators as well for the impact of train the trainers. We have the numbers of trainers and trainee training course that we have done in the past and number of trainers that we have as well. But what kind, how can I say that this program has an impact on anyone? No? So it's also very important for any of our funders that we, we hear about this more and more now. Also something else that we continue working on is then the train the train instructors community, how we are going to certify also the train the train instructors, also is related to the recognition of the people doing this work. We have also something that is coming up, maybe it's going to be interesting for many of you or anyone working with you, is a mentorship program, because we also want to have more people providing those train the training courses. We are, we have the train the train instructors community as well, where we um, we try to make people then to feel more confident on that. But sometimes that's not enough. So we have created now a mentorship program where we're going to have mentors who are people who have been teaching those men, trainer trainer courses, working together with mentees that they are going to be few uh, work together through the materials and. Uh, a process of learning as well. And to, so until that they feel comfortable and to give, provide the trainer trainer courses. And also we are working on developing the no, new trainer trainer course modules that are going to be, can be associated to the trainer, cor, trainer trainer courses or not that can be taken by anyone. And deliver trainer trainer courses. So that's our always our main aim that we, we to give you an idea. So I opened that, I, Everybody that has been also in the trainer training community knows already, but I, I, I'm organizing a trainer training course online next in January, and I have organized that for Switzerland. I opened that course online for free, and I had a hundred people who have registered for that. Overwhelming, I don't know how to, I'm going to, little by little, I'm trying to make a selection, but we see that there is some kind of need for those trained to trainer courses and people are really keen to attend the, those. That's why we are always pushing people to uh, deliver more trained to trainer courses with us. So on the new modules that we are going to teach, I just had a slide here to show you that we have people from LXC UK who are going to create two of those models. modules. One is Kasia that is working with Chris here. She's going to be involved in uh, devel developing a model on in-person courses versus online teaching. You see a lot, lot, a lot of people who have, well, we all jumped into teaching online in the COVID session and in, with the COVID pandemic. And then since then we have been doing that more easily, but it's still sometimes people have questions on what is best, what is not so appropriate, what, what works well and that, what doesn't. So this is a project that we have 
that is going to be developed in next years. And the other one as well, this is Alexia Cardona that is developing this one, or is going to be de developing this, the learning path as well. How you design a course following a learning, courses that follow, follow a learning path. So it's on, not only one course, but many, and how they get together well, and all related also to best practices in, in teaching. So yeah, that was an overall idea. I hope I didn't take too long that we have time for discussions and it was just an overview. What is this Train the Trainer community program? Anyone is welcome to attend those. Anyone is welcome to join this community as well. If you are interested in that, Chris, Khaled and others also, I am also here and then, then anytime feel free to contact us. You are most welcome to attend that, to join us in this train-to-trainer -train community as well.